Coach Ernie, justifikasi untuk uh, FM menolak sukan Malaysia kan Jadi Scott also can uh, clarify about this for Nigeria Thanks Scott Yeah, I mean I think it's a, it's a packed schedule this year with um, possibly three, com- uh, well definitely three competitions we're going to enter in. The, comp- the MFL starts at the end of this month, ends on 17th of December. So we're, it's a, and it's, it's a fairly packed schedule. So we've got to um, manage the playing loads of the players. We've got to respect the clubs in terms of asking them to release players Play, the clubs are the ones that pay their salaries and we've got to try and balance that up and I just think the most important thing for me and me and Ella have spoken about is that the Asian Games is an under 24 competition and the rest of the competitions we're participating in this year are 2001 born so basically under 22 competitions um, and it just the timing I mean we've discussed it the timing is just after the Asian uh, the AFC qualifiers um, so, we just create a brand new team for a one-off competition. I, I can't see that being beneficial. Um, I don't think it's fair on the players I, um, because of the, the preparation involved. Um, and also, we've just got to, as I said before, about managing those, the, the playing time. Because I'm assuming the team that Ella picks, the under-22 team for the AFC qualifiers, will be pl- players mainly coming from the Super League. But we still can use the same players, right? Under 22 players for Asian League? Yeah, we can. Mm-hmm. Um, we could if we wanted to. Um, but it's about coming off one competition and going straight into another competition and then when that competition finishes, back into the Super League again. So it's about... I, I just don't... It's... If we didn't have the AFC qualifiers immediately before the Asian Games, we'd, I'm sure we would be participating in it. But I, th- I just don't think the timing is right. And the timing's not right for all, not just us, every other country is involved in it as well, um, which makes it challenging. But also being aware of the players um, and their the number of games they're going to be playing throughout the year. I mean, if you look at last year's under-23 team, where we had Ajmal um, playing in the C Games, the AFC under-23s, then he got called up for the national team, um, and playing all the games for Selangor. I don't know how many games he played, but it can't be... It's great that he's playing games, but you've got to manage that load as well. And it's great that he's playing first-team football for Selangor, and he gave everything he had for his country at the under-23 level and the national level. But we're also going to manage it. He's only young, right? So we don't want to be overloading these players and then possibly getting injured. I mean, Ubai was another player who I think he went to Cambodia, then he went to the Sea Games, then he went to Uzbekistan. Then he played every game for the project squad and he got knee injury towards the end of the season. That's no coincidence. So I think it's trying to find that balance. And I just think four competitions um, in the space of 12 months for, uh, for this age group, in addition to them playing in the um, in the Super League, probably one competition too many. Any other questions? Um, Scott, right. going off of your answer just then, um, I know now it's a matter of like quantity versus quality, more or less, for the under 23. But has the FA, uh, has FAM actually spoken about maybe just sending under nineteen team instead for exposure purposes? I don't know. Yeah, so it's a good question, right? Farah, well done. But well, you ask this question now, and it's a valid question. So we're going to send an under nineteen team to an under twenty four competition. But then, when we if we do send an under nineteen team and we don't perform well. Then we get criticised for poor performances because in the record books it doesn't say a little asterisk. By the way, Malaysia sent an under nineteen team to an under twenty four competition. It's just us participating in the competition. So we've got to be fair to the players and the coaches um, as well. So while in theory it sounds good, our under nineteen team has only got one competition this year, which is the AFF later in the year. I don't think that's been confirmed to date. 
but we don't want to put them in a situation where they're out of their class as well. So we've got to balance that up and make sure we're fair uh, to the players and don't put them in situations that um, may do more harm than good.